your body actually glows. It emits a super faint light that's at its strongest at around 3 to 4 p.m. The sad news is that this glowing is 1,000 times less intense than what your eyes can see. Humans are the only animals that have chins. Even our closest genetic relatives, gorillas and chimps, lack this small piece of bone that extends forward from the jaw. Their lower jaws slant down and back from their front teeth. Scientists still haven't figured out this mystery. The opinions about why people are made this way differ. Some researchers think chins help us chew our food. Others are sure they have something to do with speaking. A few of us think it's simply a special place to grow a goatee. The most abundant element in the human body is oxygen, at 65%. But it also contains lithium, cobalt, gold, and uranium. The rarest one of all is radium. On average, humans yawn 20 times a day, partially spontaneously, for example, when you're tired, but sometimes when someone yawns near you. Scientists think it could be a thing called social mirroring. Usually, when animals mimic each other, they recognize some action as useful, so they decide to do it too. With humans, it happens when someone crosses legs, laughs, smiles at you, or... <sighs> Your stomach acid breaks down the foods you eat and turns them into easy-to-digest particles. It also stops nasty pathogens and microbes that could make you sick. In fact, your stomach acid is so strong that it can even dissolve bone and metal. Don't start munching down on your soda cans, though. That's probably not going to end well. Your brain has more than 86 billion nerve cells. They're all joined together by 100 trillion connections. That's even more than the number of stars in the Milky Way galaxy. There's a good chance you can guess someone's name based on how they look. Researchers showed portrait photos to a group of people with four names written below. They were asked to choose the right name for this or that person. The law of chance says you'll guess it 25% of the time. But in this research, people got the names correct at a rate of 25 to 40%. And there were more than 94,000 faces shown. Let's say a man is called Bob. People will expect for him to have a rounder face than Tim. They expect Bob to be more jolly and ready to hang out with people. It has to affect his facial appearance in some way. A woman called Catherine can be considered more serious, studious, and concentrated. That could eventually influence her facial muscles as well. When ancient Romans flexed their biceps, they thought their muscles looked like mice. That's why the word muscle translates as little mouse in Latin. Your left lung is smaller than the right one because it shares space with your heart. Experts used to think that we can only distinguish 10,000 smells. In fact, a recent study found human beings can recognize 1 trillion smells. Millennials, or people born between 1981 and 1996, are more forgetful than older people. The main cause of their forgetfulness comes from higher levels of stress. So come on, dude, chill out, okay? Some scientists think that the purpose of fingerprints is a better grip but others believe they're there to help wick water off them and allow the skin to stretch when needed to protect it from damage. There's also a theory saying that fingerprints improve the sense of touch. Hot coffee can taste better than cold coffee. Your taste bud receptors are most sensitive when your food is at or a little bit above room temperature. Hot coffee can then seem less bitter because taste buds that detect bitterness are more sensitive when the coffee is cold. The biggest molecule in the human body is the chromosome 1. A human cell has 23 chromosome pairs, and each chromosome 1 is made of 10 billion atoms. You inhale 25 sextillion molecules in just one breath. That's 25 followed by 21 zeros. When you're walking faster, at some point, you'll feel the natural urge to start jogging. Your body wants to have a stable state, whether you're running or walking. So, if you're walking fast, it will unconsciously force you to start running. One theory is, we use more energy when walking faster than running. So, that's one of the ways the body saves energy. Your pinky is a powerful little thing. Without it, your hand would lose a significant part of its power. Your index and middle fingers cooperate with your thumb to grab and pinch. And your pinky, together with your ring finger, provides grip strength. The fattiest organ in your body is your brain. 
Fat makes up at least 60% of its dry weight. This quality got the brain to the Guinness World Records. The organ contains around 25% of your body's cholesterol, which is vital for the brain's well-being. Your bones are four times harder than concrete. The strongest bone in your body is the femur. It can support up to 30 times the weight of a grown-up person. Even crazier is that our bones are made up of composite material, meaning they're both hard and elastic at the same time. Your fingernails grow twice as fast as your toenails. It would take 15 and a half months for your toenails to grow one inch, but only seven months for your fingernails to get this long. The outer layer of your skin is thicker on your feet than on other parts of your body. The heart has its own electrical system and can continue beating even when it's disconnected from the body. The vessels in your body are long enough to circle the earth twice or more. The idea that we use only 10% of our brains is a myth. At any given time, you use almost 100%. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to perform simple tasks, like drink a cup of coffee. More than 70% of your brain consists of water, and it needs 20% of your body's oxygen supply. The average lifespan of one eyebrow hair is four months. The body of a 110-pound person contains 40 tablespoons of salt. If you ironed out all the wrinkles in your brain and laid it flat, it would be the size of a pillowcase. The brain wrinkles as there's not a lot of room in the skull, so it folds over itself as it grows. By the way, don't do that pillowcase thing with your brain. Trust me on this one. We spend 40% of our life with our eyes closed. Most of that time is when we're asleep. But don't forget to count blinking, too, or while driving. You produce around 85,000 pints of spit in your lifetime. That's enough saliva to fill around 500 bathtubs. Enough said. The highest blood flow isn't actually in your heart, and it's not in your brain, either. It's in your kidneys. It's super hard for us to grasp just how small an atom is. But think of it this way. Your body is made up of a staggering seven octillion atoms. Yeah, doesn't that look like a seven being chased by a whole mob of zeros? For adults, the blood makes up seven to eight percent of the total body weight. About 55% of your blood is liquid plasma. The rest is red and white blood cells and platelets. They form clots and prevent bleeding. You can't swallow and breathe at the same time. The food you swallow and the air you breathe go down the same part of your throat at first. Only a bit deeper does the passage split into the esophagus for food and liquid and the trachea for air. When you swallow, your airway gets automatically closed off. This prevents you from accidentally inhaling food, but occasionally it still happens. There's a name for the growling sound that your stomach makes when you're hungry. It's called borborygmy. It takes six to eight hours for food to travel through your stomach and small intestine. That's because your body is trying to absorb all its nutrients. The idea that the tongue has flavor zones is a myth. All taste buds can detect five tastes, but some receptors are more responsive than others. Human beings are the only animals that willingly delay sleep. Just make sure you get enough. Hey, check it out. Your bones are designed to be used a lot every day. Some of them can absorb the force of two or even three times your body weight. That's impressive, but your teeth are even stronger. When you bite something, they can withstand incredible pressure, up to 200 pounds. By the way, the enamel is considered to be a part of your skeletal system. Whenever you rotate your hand, the bones inside your forearm cross. Grab hold of your arm and turn your palm to face first upward and then downward. You'll make sure it's true. Not only is your body 60% water, your bones contain some liquid too. About 25% of the human bone mass is made up of water. The human eye has something in common with a car engine. They both can't work properly without various liquids. The eye needs tears as much as the engine needs oil. Tears should be evenly spread over the surface of your eye. That's why you blink up to 20,000 times a day, and your eyelid plays the role of a windshield wiper. The only part of the human body that doesn't get any nutrients from blood is the cornea, the clear front surface of the eye. Instead, it's fed by tears on the outside and special fluids on the inside. When you blush, it means there's increased blood flow in your body. 
And then, not only your cheeks, but also your stomach lining gets somewhat red. It's because it has plenty of blood vessels. When there's more blood than usual in them, the lining blushes. Your stomach lining gets replaced every 3-4 to four days. This prevents the organ from eating itself. The digestive acids there are exceptionally powerful. People can accidentally swallow small objects, such as glass, plastic items, coins, and many others. Normally, they don't cause any harm and pass through the digestive tract within 48 hours. Tiny quantities of plastic you might consume by mistake won't harm you. But your stomach will have problems with digesting grass. Grazing animals have special teeth and stomachs to process raw leaves and grass. People aren't equipped that way. Moo. The stomach is the most important protector of the immune system. It contains hydrochloric acid. This acid gets rid of dangerous food toxins, viruses, and bacteria that come along with the food you eat. The stomach itself would be digested by this strong acid if the mucous membrane didn't protect it. You've got two really fast muscles. They control your eyelids closing. They're the swiftest in your body. Your eyes are fragile and need protection. When a special reflex is triggered, for example, when something suddenly touches your eye, these muscles only need one-tenth of a second to shut the eyelids. Women usually blink more than men. Plus, the older you get, the more frequently you do it. By the way, when you watch a movie with a friend, you both blink in unison. Do you think you owe your firm handshake to your strength workouts? It's more likely thanks to your pinky. Eh, just kidding. And still, the pinky is the strongest finger out there. It's responsible for 50% of the entire hand strength. But the most used finger is the thumb. If a person loses it, their hand becomes 40% less agile. Oh, and the thumb has its own pulse, thanks to the artery running through it. Your big toes carry more than 40% of your weight, more than all the other toes combined. All in all, all your toes are a big deal. They provide support and balance when you walk. And when you run, they help you to be faster. No more than 2% of people have natural red hair. They're followed by blondes, about 3%, and all kinds of brown shades, about 11%. But the world's most common hair colors are black and dark brown. Hair is almost indestructible. It can be burned or affected by strong acids, but that's pretty much all you can do to destroy it. Your hair usually stops growing at a certain length, and since a hair lives for 2 to 7 years, its length doesn't normally exceed 42 inches. <laughs> Tell that to this lady from China, who got to the Guinness World Records with the longest hair ever. In 2004, it was a bit more than 18 feet 5 inches long. Wow, what a drag! <laughs> nails can grow staggeringly long, too. Some of the longest nails in the world belong to this guy from India. Their combined length was 29 feet 10 inches, which is almost as long as a London double-decker. The man cut them off back in 2018. Nailed it! Nails do help us catch small objects and peel stickers off. But that's not all. If you didn't have a rigid structure to press against, you wouldn't be able to understand how firmly you should hold things. Not only your hair and nails, but also your liver can grow. It's the largest internal organ by mass. The liver can fully regenerate from only 51% of its original mass back to the full size. At the same time, constant damage to the liver will result in scars. The largest organ in your whole body is the skin. It makes up more than 15% of your total body weight. People lose 30,000 to 40,000 skin cells every single minute. It adds up to 9 pounds of skin cells a year. You know that dust in your house? Well, now you know where some of it comes from. The tongue isn't the only organ that helps you recognize taste. Your nose also plays a critical role in this process. It's often said the nose is responsible for 75 to 95% of your taste perception. Try holding your nose next time you eat, gnaw on an onion, or eat some smoked fish. It's not that you won't feel any taste at all, but it's going to be way blander. Your taste buds won't work properly if your mouth is too dry. You simply won't feel the taste until the food is covered in saliva. It contains enzymes, which are complex protein molecules. They start to break down your food as soon as it gets into your mouth. 
A recent study has found out that people can distinguish more than a trillion smells. You tend to remember odors better than sounds or images. That's why smells can evoke distant memories. When you're asleep, you don't feel any odors. Your sense of smell basically deactivates at night. Even if there's some terrible stench in your bedroom, you won't notice it. I'm sure my dog is relieved to hear that. The color of your dreams seemed to be affected by the TV you watched as a kid. If it was black and white, you probably see monochrome dreams more often than not. If you're used to color television, your dreams are likely to be colorful. Hmm, what kind of dreams did people in the Middle Ages have then? Nights that say knee? Your heart can give you away when you lie by starting to beat faster. Women's hearts are usually smaller than men's. That's why they have to work harder and make more beats. Otherwise, they won't be able to pump enough blood. Even if you brush your teeth twice a day and never forget about mouthwash, your mouth still remains one of the dirtiest parts of your body. Millions of bacteria live there. The good news is that most of them are good for your health. They protect your body from bad bacteria and viruses. The second dirtiest place is your belly button. You don't really use it after you were born. So this forlorn area accumulates all kinds of germ, sweat, and dirt. The belly button has over 2,300 bacterial species, and it does need extra attention. They say eyes don't grow with the rest of the body. Well, it's not 100% true, because the eyes aren't fully developed until you're about 21. But the absolute growth champions here are your ears and nose. They never stop growing. Wow, what was that thing about elephants again? Must have been a different video. If all your blood vessels were stretched into a single line, dang, you would be in a really tough spot. But they would go round the earth four times. You can't tickle yourself, no matter how hard you try. You've just checked that and failed, haven't you? That's because your brain warns you that you're about to be tickled, which it can't do if it's someone else. (laughs) Ever wondered why you feel so sleepy after lunch? One of the reasons is your circadian rhythm which runs on a 24-hour cycle. It demands that you have a nap 7 hours after waking up. And the food just adds to this effect. As simple as that. Oh, excuse me, it's time. Up, the phone's ringing. Must be something urgent. At 11 p.m.? Only all the gadgets in the house are silent. It's your ears that are ringing. You can also hear some hissing, whistling, buzzing, and even roaring. But all this noise doesn't have an external source. Ooh, That's why it's known as phantom sounds. They can occur in one or both ears, constantly or from time to time. They're usually most noticeable at night when nothing distracts you. Hearing noise in your ears is called tinnitus. It's quite common and affects 15-20% to of people. Tinnitus starts in the part of your inner ear shaped like a snail. It's called the cochlea. Your middle ear picks up sound waves. They get translated into electrical impulses in the inner ear. Then, sensory nerves carry these impulses to your brain. If your inner ear works incorrectly, your brain can misinterpret the sounds. Tinnitus occurs when there are some changes in the cochlea's nerve. They can be caused by loud noise, like chainsaws, jackhammers, loud music, or shouting. Tinnitus can start after a head, neck, or ear injury, or after you begin to take certain medications. You can also hear ringing in your ears if you have some blood pressure issues. Elsewhere, in the amazing human body, some of the bacteria living in your gut can produce electricity. Shocking! They give off electrons, and this creates tiny electrical currents. That's likely to be the bacteria's backup system, their way to generate energy. Humans are the only animals that have chins. Even our closest genetic relatives, gorillas and chimps, lack this small piece of bone that extends forward from the jaw. Their lower jaws slant down and back from their front teeth. Scientists still haven't figured out this mystery. The opinions about why people are made this way differ. Some researchers think chins help us chew our food. Others are sure they have something to do with speaking. A few of us think it's simply a special place to grow a goatee. Blinking keeps your eyes clean and moist. But that's not all. Every time you blink, you take a micro nap. Researchers from Washington University have found out that blinking makes your attention sharper, 
and works as a teeny recharge. Ever seen tiny dots traveling in squiggly lines, especially when you're looking at a bright blue sky? These dots are only visible for a second or so and might look like itty-bitty worms. Those are your white blood cells moving through the capillaries in front of the retina. That's the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eyes. Curiously, most people don't even notice the dots unless asked to pay attention. The pineal gland in your brain handles the production of melatonin. That's the very hormone that regulates your sleep patterns. The gland looks like a pine nut, and that's how it got its name. The human brain is 73% water, and the same is true about the heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of liquid, you start to feel tired. It also makes your memory worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. By the way, your brain makes sure you don't drink too little or too much water. After you swallow some liquid, your mouth and throat start to fire signals to your brain, telling it to stop drinking. Otherwise, you'd be gulping down water for the entire 10 to 60 minutes it takes the liquid to get to your cells. Your eyes can see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and your brain will already process this image. For comparison, the average blink lasts from 100 to 400 milliseconds. Even though the tongue isn't the strongest muscle in your body, it never gets tired. That's because of the way it's built. It's made up of eight interwoven muscles. But unlike other muscles in your body, these aren't situated around a supporting bone. The tongue structure is similar to an elephant's trunk or an octopus's tentacles. Your body emits visible light. Uh, that's why they call me Sunny. <laughs> You're the brightest at 4 p.m., and your glow is the least visible at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, this glowing is a thousand times less intense than what your eyes can see. Sweat is mostly water mixed with proteins, sugars, ammonia, and a lot of other stuff. It even contains tiny amounts of trace metals, like copper, zinc, nickel, iron, and so on. What makes sweat taste salty is the sodium it contains. Plus, the more salt you eat, the saltier your sweat is. Your body's trying to get rid of the excess, and the fastest way is to sweat it out. In an adult, the blood makes up 7-8% of the total body weight. About 55% of your blood is liquid plasma. The rest is red and white blood cells and platelets. They form clots and prevent bleeding. You can't swallow and breathe at the same time. The food you swallow and the air you breathe go down the same part of your throat at first. Only a bit deeper, the passage splits into the esophagus for food and liquid and trachea for air. When you swallow, your airway gets automatically closed off. This prevents you from accidentally inhaling food. But occasionally, it still happens. Your brain sometimes generates more than 48 thoughts in just one minute. That's almost 3,000 thoughts per hour and 69,000 per day. Fingernails grow faster on the dominant hand. If you use your right hand more, you'll have to trim nails on it more often. Fingernails also grow more quickly in the summer and during the day. You might keep in memory up to 10,000 different faces. Sure, it varies from person to person, and the average number is 5,000. It doesn't mean you can put a name to each of these faces. It's only about recognizing the features. Now, you might try to hide the truth, but your nose will always give you away. When a person tells a lie, the temperature around their nose and in the inner corners of their eyes goes up. This phenomenon is known as the Pinocchio effect. <coughs> Women have more taste buds on the surface of their tongues than men do. It's one of the reasons why 35% of ladies and only 15% of guys are super tasters. Those are people who feel flavors more strongly than others. Your teeth are the only part of your body that can't repair itself. But the enamel they're covered with is one of the toughest things in the human body. Your heartbeat often syncs with the music you're listening to. If a piece has a continuous increase in volume or tempo, like rock, it can make your heart rate faster. Some classic music lowers heart rate and blood pressure. This phenomenon affects everyone, from professional musicians to amateurs and music lovers. There are 2 to 5 million sweat glands on your body. The sweat they produce is of two different kinds, 
stress sweat, and regular sweat. Hey, don't sweat the small stuff, huh? The sweat caused by stress has fatty acids and proteins in it. And the regular sweat is mostly made up of water, salt, and a tiny bit of other substances. It's actually possible to brush your teeth too thoroughly and hard. This can wear down the enamel and make your teeth super sensitive to cold and hot foods. If you walked in the same direction for 12 hours a day, you would need around 800 days to travel around the globe. And don't forget your rubber boots for the ocean parts. If your stomach acid made contact with your skin, it would most likely eat a hole in it, all because of hydrochloric acid. This type of acid is incredibly potent. It can easily dissolve some metals, for example, magnesium or zinc. Hydrochloric acid is the main component of the gastric acid your stomach produces. It protects your immune system and gets rid of viruses and bacteria in the food you eat. This acid also helps your body break down, digest, and absorb all kinds of nutrients, including proteins. Your lips look red because there is a great concentration of miniature blood capillaries right below the skin. Your pinky is a powerful little thing. Without it, your hand would lose a significant part of its power. Your index and middle fingers cooperate with your thumb to grab and pinch, and your pinky, together with your ring finger, provides grip strength. The fattest organ in your body is your brain. Fat makes up at least 60% of its dry weight. This quality got the brain to the Guinness World Records. The organ contains around 25% of your body's cholesterol, which is vital for the brain's well-being. So, is that where the term fathead comes from? Your skeletal cells never stop regenerating. That's why you get a new skeleton every 10 years or so. This process slows down with age, and the regeneration takes longer. That's one of the main reasons why bones become thinner. And there's a newly discovered type of brain cells crucial for visual search. They're called target cells. Without their help, you wouldn't be able to spot an acquaintance in a crowd or your dog in the park. Interestingly, target cells don't care what the thing you're searching for looks like. All they want to know is whether an object is your target or not. Hey, it's not picky. There's an extra set of DNA that gives some people eyes that are different colors, a condition called heterochromia. It's very rare, but also harmless. Generally, eye color describes the ring of muscle around your pupil called the iris. It allows light to enter your eye. And the color of the iris depends on the pigment melanin. The more melanin you have, the darker your eye color is. The majority of people have the same amount of melanin in both eyes, which is why they match, unless you have a genetic mutation like heterochromia. There's a long palm muscle, cleverly named palmaris longus, that was used to help our ancestors perform certain activities like climbing trees. We don't use or need it anymore, but some people are still born with this muscle. If you want to check to see if you have it, simply put your arm on a flat surface. Touch your thumb with the pinky finger, and you'll see this muscle popping out of your wrist. There are some rare body features that aren't very noticeable, like the LRP5 gene mutation that gives some people very, very dense bones, up to 8 times denser than average, making them some sort of superhuman. That means they have bones that are extremely hard to break. Plus, their skin is less prone to aging. Also, some are born with an extra rib near their neck. This rib can vary in size, and it does not become an issue unless it grows in size. That's when it causes discomfort. But if it remains normal-sized, it's like you have an additional bone you don't even know about. You've probably heard of a widow's peak. That's when your hairline forms a V-shaped point in the center of your forehead basically a low point in the middle and higher on the sides. Some people just have a hint of it, while others have a pretty distinct one, especially when they pull their hair straight back. The name of this feature could be a holdover from the 18th century England, where certain women wore black triangular hats whose point would fall in the middle of their foreheads. Approximately 33% of the population has this. 
Now, when your friend tells you they don't need to sleep a lot and can operate throughout the day without feeling tired and with no problem, don't make comparisons or feel bad if you can't follow the same rhythm. Maybe they have the rare DEC2 gene. Sleep experts generally recommend at least 7 hours of restful sleep. But people with this condition, which make up about 5% of the world's population, can sleep for only 4 to 6 hours and get up fresh and fully rested. Their gene mutation allows them to go through a sleep cycle way faster than most of us do. So that leaves them extra time to achieve more things while awake. People like Margaret Thatcher and Nikola Tesla had this condition. And there are arch fingerprints too. 65% of people have hoops. About 30% have a pattern in the shape of a whorl. Just 5% has the specific arch fingerprint pattern. Brown is the most common eye color. Gray eyes are the rarest. Only 3% of people have them, which is 3 times less than the number of people with blue eyes. And only 2 out of every 100 people have green eyes. The reason for that is that green isn't a predominant color, so if one parent has brown eyes, green will most likely lose the battle. Also, only 5% of people have amber eyes, which means a coppery or golden tone with flakes of green, gold, or brown. But amber eyes are common in birds, dogs, and fish. Some people have a tooth gap, which is often called diastema. There are many famous people who have made this their trademark. It's rather unique because up to 25% of people from different age groups and populations have it. One quarter of the world's population has an extraordinary sense of taste. These super tasters simply have a higher number of taste buds on their tongues than the average person. They're especially sensitive to bitter flavors. When some of them were going through lab tests, they were repulsed by the bitterness of some chemicals that average tasters couldn't sense at all. Because they're so sensitive to certain flavors, these people mostly avoid high-fat and high-sugar foods. That's good, but they also avoid certain healthy vegetables because of their intense flavor too. On the other hand, the same number of people have fewer taste buds, which means a decreased sense of taste. Only 5% of people have a tiny hole near their ear, which could basically be proof that once upon a time, all living things had gills. This extra hole doesn't have any particular purpose, and it's not dangerous. Another rare body condition is having two layers of eyelashes. Having a second row of eyelashes isn't a problem in most cases. If you maintain it properly, it can really bring focus to your eyes like Elizabeth Taylor, who had this condition, did. If you have a second toe that is longer than the first one, you have a specific thing called Morton's toe. Up to 22% of people have this feature. It got its name because of the scientist Dudley Joy Morton who believed the long second toe was an evolutionary leftover that kind of reminds us of pre-human grasping toes. What's interesting is that the Statue of Liberty also has Morton's toe. Now, we all sneeze, but about 25% of the general population have a pretty unusual reaction when they're exposed to direct sunlight. You got it, sneezing. We call this phenomenon a photic sneeze reflex. About 90% of people are right-handed, while 9% are left-handed. And those that can perform most of their tasks equally well with both hands are the rarest. They're called ambidextrous. Why do we even have a dominant hand? The answer is probably related to the fact our brain has two hemispheres, and keeping specific functions on one side means the information doesn't have to cross over to the other one. So, our genes determine which hand would be the dominant one. And sometimes they create a mutation where a person can do equally well with both hands. 20% of the population are born without wisdom teeth. Most people develop them between the ages of 17 and 21. It's a spare set of molars way in the back. Some people have them even though they can't see them. They don't erupt or ever become visible. An x-ray can confirm they have wisdom teeth under their gums. Our ancestors used to really need these teeth. 
Humans today have smaller jaws than before. Some theories say it's because our brain got bigger, so the jaw had to get smaller to accommodate for space. Yeah, I like that one. Also, since we eat cooked food and our diet is different than our ancestors, we lost those extra molars through evolution. But some people still have them. You can see the majority of people have only one clockwise hair whirl. But 5 out of every 100 people have a double crown. And if you have both of these whirls directed counterclockwise, you're even more unique. Clasp your hands. Now check the position of your thumbs, which one naturally comes above the other. If it's the right one, you're in 50% of the population. And does it feel kind of weird when you place the left thumb above the right one? For 49% of people, it certainly doesn't because that's their natural position. Only 1% of people place their thumbs next to each other when they clasp their hands. Do you know exactly which side your heart is on? Rare people have it on the right side of their chest. This is a rare anomaly that mostly doesn't come with any negative consequences. If your hair is naturally red, you make up 1-2% to of the world's population because this hair color is the result of a genetic mutation. Redheads need to have both parents with this gene to inherit this color. You might think rolling your tongue is not that common, but it actually is. More than 80% of people can do it, but less than 15% can actually make a clover out of their tongue. Ew. Did you know some people are able to make a roaring noise in their head using their jaw? Yup, they can do it thanks to a tiny muscle located in their middle ear. Most people can't contract it willingly, but some can, and that's how they produce a rumbling in their ears that reminds them of thunder or roaring. So, that's not really a lion behind you. Oops, my bad. We all get goosebumps when we hear our favorite song or witness something very emotional, or when we're cold. But some people, less than 1% of them, can actually give themselves goosebumps whenever they want. And one quarter of the world's population have a hitchhiker's thumb. That's a condition where you can bend the upper part of your thumb 90 degrees backwards. Ooh, let's try it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs>